Hey, Tony from Bikeberry. On a previous video, we went in on our cylinder head and ported the exhaust side and the intake side. Now, the goal of the exhaust side is to get everything out of the engine fast, 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 and efficiently, right? That's why people go in and modify their exhaust by taking baffles out and everything, is to get the exhaust to flow out fast as possible, okay? So what we're going to do, take our exhaust, expansion chamber, whatever that you have connected to it, and we're gonna match up the opening here to this opening there. Let's roll. So the good thing about the opening of our BBR Deluxe expansion chamber is that it's a pretty wide opening. Now you can see this is our gasket that we opened up and it matches the opening here because we cleaned her up and we made her bigger, okay? So it matches, it's awesome. It's your template to clean this guy up efficiently. You can see that when you take some out there and there's gonna be a little bit on the side. Other than that, it's not gonna be too much. But if you have one of these kind of pipes, like a banana one, which hey, People make fun of these, but they're kind of fun. They have, they have enough zippiness to them. Uh, I love them. Now, there's a small version and a big version. The big version's cool. Small version doesn't do much. <laughs> anyway, the cool thing about this is it's going to show you an example here. So if you have a different exhaust, see how much metal restriction there is there? That hole ain't big enough, right? We're going to clean it up, make it the right size so that the exhaust flows efficiently. Now you could go in here and mark with a marker or something like that, but you know what? I'm just gonna place this on here and then eyeball it because I have some metal that's overhanging and I'm just gonna go in and clean up like this portion of it. So if you look here to here, I'm gonna work on that and then we'll use our gasket as a template and then we'll clean up some more, use our gasket as a template back and forth. Our handy dandy Dremel with this uh, carbide bit, it's great. Don't forget your safety glasses. Let's roll. Now, if putting in the vise the way I had it before makes you nervous, then you can put it sideways like that. You'll get less stuff down in there. But Shot brush. All right, let's match up and see where we stand. Oh yeah, a lot better there. So it's perfectly even. Awesome. So you see up there, clean some of that up. Gonna try the drum sander to smooth it out. All right, let's see how it fits. By lining up the bolt holes, you can see how much excess metal is left. Not bad. We could go off this side maybe a little bit, but let's switch to the smaller one because I want you to see how that works. All right, line up the bolt holes. Now you can see how much metal is on that side? You can see how much metal is on that side. That's what we have to chew out. Okay, we are gonna use a black marker this time because we have so much excess metal to take out. So 
So you can see the lines there and there. Okay, if you notice there, I went at an angle with the bit. What I did is I traced where the black lines were so that I had hard edge to work towards, okay? Instead of going straight in and then working my way over, angle it, trace out the black lines, and then you know exactly to cut away because the black lines are gonna get removed anyway and get dirty and all that stuff. So they end up disappearing kind of fast. So that's why I did an angle. And then the other reason I did the angle also is because if I'm straight up and down with that much material, the bit has a chance to zip around in there and get all crazy. So I'm trying to keep it from being crazy. So let's keep going. <laughs> So let's finish up with the sanding drum. For some finishing touches, I used the file with the flat side on one side and rounded side on the other. And really just trying to go around and make sure everything's smooth and fits the shape of the gasket. So do that until you're satisfied. You take your gasket, place it over it, and see that things perfectly match up. You can kind of run your finger inside here and make sure things match real well. And if it does, you're good to go. All right, there you go. We're looking for maximum efficiency in these little engines. We want each side mating up perfectly with the other so that you get the best possible performance out of it that you can get. So if you have any comments, questions, put them below. Let me know what your thoughts are, any tricks of the trade that you know in porting engines. Otherwise, check out the site, get these parts, start your porting journey. Let's roll.